Good day from the International Space Station Flight Control Room at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, where at this hour the Orbit 1 team of flight controllers here at the Johnson Space Center, working in concert with their Russian counterparts at the Russian Mission Control Center in the town of Karadyov outside Moscow, monitoring the final minutes of a three-day trek from the launch pad of the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan to a docking to the International Space Station by the Russian ISS Progress 45 resupply ship. On Sunday at Baikonur at 5.11 a.m. Central Time, 4.11 p.m. Baikonur Time, uh, the Russian uh, Federal Space Agency bounced back from an August failure of the third stage of a Soyuz booster rocket that uh, resulted in the loss of the previous Progress resupply ship, the Progress 44, to successfully launch its Soyuz booster. Less than 10 minutes later, the Progress 45 had been delivered into its preliminary orbit for the start of a three-day trek to link up to the Piers Dock compartment of the International Space Station. Progress 45 has been on an automated approach, a computer-guided approach, ever since its uh, orbital insertion uh, less than 10 minutes after its launch on Sunday, and now is approaching the station not uh, more than 550 meters away, about to begin a fly-around uh, to precisely align its forward docking probe to the pier's docking compartment for a period of a few minutes of station keeping before the commands are issued for the final approach and a docking to piers. Approach flag is um, on the progress. And the visiting vehicle officer here in Mission Control reports uh, that the progress's uh, computers have initiated a final approach for docking on schedule. So, um, range rate increasing. I visually see approach occurring. Visually, I assess everything is nominal. The docking target is um, out uh, and to the left, uh, uh, half a uh, square to the left. Uh, range rate 0 0.5 meters per second. Uh, the Progress now inside 100 meters to docking. Center. I clearly see the docking port. The uh, pier's docking compartment uh, became available uh, with the undocking of the uh, previous Progress craft at the station, the Progress 42, that uh, undocked back on Saturday and was deorbited uh, to a uh, destructive reentry over the Pacific Ocean. The uh, pier's docking compartment is the module delivered in September 2001 that linked up automatically to the Russian segment of the International Space Station and which for the past decade has served uh, two purposes, both as a docking port for arriving Russian vehicles and as an airlock from which Russian spacewalks have been staged. For a second, I can see crosshairs, crosshairs um, match. Uh, the docking target is uh, to the left by one uh, square of the Vakao Center, and it's up above the Vakao Center. Copy. Uh, Sergey, what do you think about the quality of the video? Forty meters away from docking, uh, the Progress's core's automated uh, rendezvous antenna has been retracted as planned. Everything continuing to go very smoothly. Docking less than five minutes away, range 36 meters. Okay, but by us in the show, go ahead and execute. We have all three, uh, all four LEDs on. Okay, then operation, and then AGC mode on. Copy. I can see the target clearly. Um, the crosshairs are aligned. I uh, turn off uh, operation command. We see all four LEDs no longer illuminated. I'm seeing the uh, target in the center of the call. The crosshairs are aligned. Uh, range uh, rate is uh, range is 30 meters. Range rate is 0 0.13 meters per second. The Progress's docking mechanism has been powered up as planned, range now just 30 meters. Target is in the center of a cow. We see it. Um, CCMOS construction is not a point. Yes, copy.
Range is about 30, 30 meters. Copy. Range rate is nominal. Copy. At the top of your screen is the pier's docking compartment itself. Just below it, the diamond-shaped docking target. The progress is aligning its forward docking probe with that docking target as planned. Meters. Copy. We're continuing to monitor automatic approach. We see the target crosshairs are aligned. Copy. It is um, one square off to the center in relation to the vehicle. Copy. Progress in the International Space Station currently flying almost directly over the capital of Kazakhstan, Astana. Range is about 20 meters. Range rate is 0 0.12. We see the target uh, crosshair is aligned. The target is um, half a square to the left and half a square uh, above the cow. Copy. Construction. Uh, yes. Uh, we are now switching to um, IR base. We might need to activate AGC again. Okay, then bring up uh, AGC. I'm activating BPS into initial mode. Um, Activating operation. Uh, C4 LEDs activating AGC mode. I got it. We're continuing the approach monitoring. Turn off uh, the um, operation command. Okay, let me come for the AGC. Okay, I confirm. I'm um, deactivating operation. 10 meters. Progress now inside 10 meters to docking. Is half a square to the left and up from the Vekal Center. There is slight roll. Okay, we copy. Um, rain, we continue approach. Uh, Range rate is nominal. Range is about seven meters. Copy. We're continuing to monitor. Uh, target is in the center of the KO. Crosshairs are aligned. We're still seeing slight roll within about half a degree. Copy. Range Approaching the five meter mark, copy. closing at a rate of one tenth of a meter per second. Flight controllers on both sides of the Atlantic Ocean standing by for contact and capture. Range rate is nominal. The uh, target is basically in the center of the cow. Range rate is nominal. Copy. There is slight roll. Target is uh, virtually in the center. We're expecting um, capture. Uh, range rate is nominal. Crosshairs are aligned. Capture, we have indicator mode. We have uh, mechanical. Docking confirmed at 6.41 a.m. Central Time over northern China, just to the east of China's border with Russia. On the 11th anniversary of the arrival of the first residents of the International Space Station, supplies have arrived to fortify the station for the Expedition 29 crew and beyond.